Hello, and if you're wondering why my intro says Master Guy Person, well, that's my Xbox Live Gamer Tag. So, um, anyway, if you want to know how, if you've been wanting to know how you get a Nintendo 64 game on your computer, there's a program called Project 64, and I will supply you with a download link in the description. And Project 64, it's an emulator, and it uses dot seven uh, C64 files. And I'll supply you with uh, a, a, a game, uh, The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. So you just go ahead and open it. And it loads. You can also press escape to minimize the window. Okay, and let's go over the options. So, uh, this is just, um, you know, the basic stuff, open up stuff. Here, the system, you should probably know a little bit about this. Um, okay, yeah. To reset, when you reset option, it's just automatic resets. You can also press F1, and it automatically resets. Um, pause, that just pauses the emulation. You can press F2, or you can click outside of the game, and it just automatically pauses it. And you notice it says CPU pause. And it also says CPU resume once you like click back on it. Anyway, save is when uh, save is also linked with this current sa save slot state. Choose all these slots. It's got slots, and you can also you can just do a quick save by pressing F5 and also restore. Restore is very useful. Like you can either start the game by its normal. Quite sure what the GS button does, but anyways, there's also full screen, which is yeah, and graphics plugin. Probably don't need to mess with this too much. And audio plug, you probably don't need to mess with this too much either. And here are the control plugins. This you should probably take a look at. This is how you set up the way you want want things like like you know for the analog stick left. You can pick L to left, as in the left arrow key, right, as in the right arrow key, up, as in the up arrow key, and down, as the down arrow key. And these are L as in A button, right as the D button, U as the W button, or I'm sorry, up, and down is the S button, and you pretty much get this, get it all, get this, and, um, these would be, the, like, the buttons on the controllers. Like set, uh, I have to set to C and B is V and S is Enter, which is S is the start button, and the L left trigger is or the left bumper is one and the right bumper is two, and C is X, and you can also load, uh, on, like you can either save this, and you can also load um, something that you uh, memory, uh, you can load the weight uh, controller. You can also load a profile that you've already set up. Anyway, that's the basics. And then you can just go mess around and play the game. And it's I think this is a very cool thing you can deal with. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
watch it. Thanks for watching.